doing something exciting, doing something that should be interesting to you, we're debuting a song right now. You're hearing it for the first time. And the artists, the DJs, the writers, they're all here up on stage. So let's get to meet him for a second. Uh, we met earlier, but now we'll, let's do it on camera. My name is Houseboy. I represent ghetto DJs, west side of Chicago, south side of Chicago, north side, suburb, everywhere, worldwide, baby. And over to my left. I'm DJ Derek Smoker Jones of The Collective. And this is my boy. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. I'm Harry Dennis, and uh, this is me and Curtis McLean, cut Mystic Voice as we uh, out on DJ International Music. Now, we would know Curtis McLean music from, wow, like 30 years ago already. House music has been 30 years old. It is 2013. So what kind of classic flavor are you bringing to the new school? Well, we're bringing something that the young, younger crowd can get into now, you know. But we still got, you know, we got that groove. We got that flavor now. As you can tell, this is called Smooth House. This is jazzy Smooth House. That's the new look for us. Still gonna raise the roof. It's got elements of old school, but you're jazzing it up for the new flavor. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. I work with Larry Heard now, so I picked up some of Larry's skills, and I'm sure he got some for me. So tell me, as a DJ, what do you look for? Because you came up old school, but now it's a whole new era of music. So what do you look for in something new that you would put on the turntables? First of all. Most new music, if it doesn't grab me like in the first measure or so, I don't even listen to it. Um, I like DJ friendly music. It's got a nice break, a nice intro, you know, where it has a nice leader where we can, you know, mix it in, you know, bring it right in to our mixes and stuff. A lot of times, sometimes people have too much of a dramatic intro and you're like, okay, when are we gonna get to the song, you know, or the beats of the song. So I just recommend a lot of guys that you can have that version of it, but I would recommend that you have a version that's very DJ friendly where the DJs get, because most of all, you want your song played optimal all the time, as much as possible. And people say, oh, I can only bring it in on this, I can only do it on that. It kind of limits the record play. Uh, how important are vocals these days? The original house music, vocals was it. If, if it didn't have the right vocals, it just wasn't gonna work. Is it that way now? Well, vocals are coming back. You know, because we were in a tracky age at one point, and now vocals are coming back. I think vocals are very important. A lot of the stuff that I produce and stuff now has a lot of strong vocals. So I'm all for it. But instrumentals are good. I mean, it's, it's just on the vibe. You got to kind of go with the vibe. But to answer your question realistically, I think vocals are coming back. I think they're strong. Vocals hold down a lot of hot songs right now. I mean, like Black Coffee, uh, Superman, you know, uh, Hey Hey. You know, stuff like that. Those vocals make that track. I mean, you hear that so many, you be like, yeah, it's good. But once you hear that actual vocal coming in, you be like, yeah. So I think it does now. There you go. So now let's go to Houseboy over here. You're one of the new personalities here on the scene. Um, you're very strong. You remind me of, the, of these big WWE type personalities. And that's very, very cool. But music sets the tone. But the music has to grab you in order for you to take over. So what is it about this song? that is grabbing you right now? I mean, this song, you know, it got, it got, it's just real strong, you know what I'm saying? It's strong, it's like a strong song, like for the guys, but it's still sexy enough for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's what you want when you got a, you know, a new song, you know what I'm saying? You know, because you gotta, you gotta have something for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, it can't just be one side of a strong song for the guys, you know, not to leave the ladies out. You gotta be for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know, well rounded, you dig? How important is it to have elements of old school when it comes to new school music? Oh man, the old school, that's the foundation, man. You know what I'm saying? Without the old school, you ain't got nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't never leave the old school out, can't diss it. You know what I'm saying? That's the foundation, man. Without that, you ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? You know, they good, but they got to pay homage to Michael Jordan because he old school. He the man. That's what they get their style from. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's all, you know what I'm saying? It all coming up. Go paying homage to old school, a little bit of new school flavor, and you're hearing it here first.